So we all know the 1090 through 1290 platform is extremely popular, but they had one serious design flaw, and that was it took 40 to 50 bolts, seven pieces of plastic, and an entire fuel tank to come off just to service the air filter. So for guys on long trips or extended trips where they're really getting into the dirt, this was a serious problem because when you get to where you're going, you just want to camp. You just you don't want to take things apart. So we went back to the drawing board with our intake system and wanted to design something that could be interchangeable in under two minutes. And we came up with the Solera intake system. So we had a couple design challenges that we had to overcome. And one of them was we had a very small space to work with back behind this fuel tank. And how do we get the air filter over the velocity stacks? They stick up kind of high. And that was a little bit of a dilemma until we figured out we could actually split the velocity stacks in two. And so what we did is we mounted those in the pressure plate that's inside the air filter. And then we added a dovetail feature on the bottom base plate to where they actually nest together and become one. And you don't need to seal them because the bottom of the air filter actually is where the sealing is done. This is all within that uh, air filter. So no worries there. The next challenge was how to actually get it to pin and lock at the front. And so we actually had about 15 design iterations that we went through with ramps and slides and springs and all these different things. And they were very complicated, too expensive to produce, too long to assemble. And then it really kind of hit us uh, at about two o'clock in the morning. Um, we are actually adopting a very similar system to the KTM dirt bikes where we have a pin and a receiver. So there's a receiver at the back where you can't get your hands in there. You just don't have access to it. So, and there's a pin right here, and this filter is swappable. You can actually take it off in the middle of a ride and turn it around backwards. So the front of it's gonna get caked up with dust and you wanna freshen it up, you can actually turn it around. But to get it in there, what we did is we had the nesting velocity stacks, we had this pin and receiver, and we have a rare earth magnet right here. And all of those work in conjunction to help pull the filter down and locate it properly. So technically with this design, we made it so it was actually impossible to do wrong. You can't do it wrong. If you do it wrong, you can't latch it and it won't pull down via the rare earth magnet. And so those were the design challenges that we had to overcome. We're very excited to introduce this to this crowd because we know there's a lot of people that really, really love these bikes and they just want to get to the camp spot, do their maintenance and have a Cerveza before the rest of the guys that don't have one of these.